um, what we're going to do is um, we've already done the levels and uh, everything sounds good. Now we're going to take the individual voices themselves and there's two things we're going to do to them. We're going to add EQ and we're also going to add some compression um, and eventually we'll get down to adding um, some effects on the voice as well too. So um, I always like to start off with my lead voice. So my lead voice is on track three here. So we're going to solo that and let's listen to what that sounds like. This is um, a solo of what it sounds like right now. I guess I never thought that we would be in this situation. I guess I always thought that love would be a part of us. Now, there's something else I want to show you, too, real quick. I already did this in the track, but since I'm giving you pointers and tips on things that you need to do, as you can see, between each, like, I recorded this all one run through here on, on track three. But as you can see on track three, there's spaces in between where I cut out stuff. The reason why I cut stuff out is when you're recording, um, and I probably should do it here too as well. Um, but when you when you actually finish your recording, it's always good when you're not singing and there's quiet parts that you, you cut that out. You cut and make spaces there. And the reason why you want to do that is because when you're not singing, there might be noise that that's on the track or you know it's just a good practice to if you're not using the microphone you know to cut the the um the track so that there's nothing there so there's blank spaces um just you know like I said before get rid of unwanted noise and things of that nature so that's just another tip um well first thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some we're going to actually go here um and just so you know also I'm working with Cubase I'm in the insert section. There's two places you can add effects. Um, there's uh, insert effects, which happens um, basically right before the actual audio. It's like a precursor to when you hear the audio. And there's a send, of, there's send effects, which happens after you hear the audio. Um, that's a rough explanation of the two. Um, we're going to apply some insert effects. Usually that's what I do first. I do that first. Um, and there are some debates in regards to when you're doing compression and when you're doing, uh, when you're doing EQ as to what goes first. Some people like to put the EQ first and then the compression. Some people like to compress first and then EQ afterwards. Um, we're going to compress first and then we're going to EQ. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got a few compressors and EQs that I love working with. I'm working with Waves and, um, I'm going to be using the API suite. Uh, this is basically a set of compression and, um, EQs that they have. And this is what I like to use on the voices, on voice tracks. So, I mean, there's a whole set of stuff that you can use. Um, there's a few programs, a few um, plugins that work also equally well. Um, there's some Sony, um, Sonic, uh, sorry, Sony Oxford has um, some good uh, plugins as well that work well. Um, so, there's a few things you can use. Um, if you've got, uh, what's the other really good one? There's another another really, really good one, too, and, of course, the name is escaping me. Uh, for power and plugins, let me actually, you know what? I can go and look at it right here and tell you. Um, UAD. UAD has some pretty good plugins as well, too. But I like using Waves. Waves is not as, as expensive as UAD. And for UAD, you have to have a separate card in your computer that actually processes the uh, plugins. That's why they're called power plugins. They come with their own card and their own powered plugins. So you're not really relying on the CPU of your computer. But, okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. All right, so this is a mono track, so we're going to use mono. And we're going to go up here, and we're going to select the API 2500. 
and uh, it opens and this is my compressor now what i do which a lot of people they frown upon i think it's an easier way to do it i can go ahead and play with these settings and try to get the right setting they've got some presets that work really really well um my personal opinion is you know they work really really well um and it prevents you from having to go through the long process of trying to get it right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the load column and you see there's lead voice lead voice this is the lead voice of course so we're going to select that plugin uh, i'm sorry that preset now when i select this preset i'm not going to just select this preset and be like okay great that's excellent let's move on we're going to select this preset we're going to listen to it and we're going to see if it sounds right if it's what we want to do so right now let's listen to it with the preset I guess I never thought that we would be in this situation. No, let's turn it off. I guess I always thought that love would be a part of us. Back on. Guess I should have seen it coming, but I didn't know how you were feeling. Now, I usually am happy with that with that preset. In this particular case, I'm not sure if that's actually working for what we're doing. I don't think it's really adding too much to it. So let's go back and look. I think that's the only one, actually, that we can use. Uh, we can do a background voice, but this is not a background voice, so why would I do that, right? Okay, so in this particular case, we're probably not going to use the API. Let's uh, see what else we got uh, out there. Um so we're going to go back here and actually I clicked on the wrong thing. So let's uh, get rid of that. And what I want to do is, I want, yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so no effect, turn it off pretty much. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to select effects. Go back to waves and mono, of course, because that's what we're working with. And everything else in here for the API it's all EQ. Now, there's another set of plugins I like to use when doing voice. And um, as you see, I've got quite a few options to choose from. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go to the SSL. Um, and we're going to SSL compressor. And let's see if they've got a preset that sounds better than the one we just did so we're gonna go to load again 